Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Character Animator beta video. This one, I'm going to show you how to create amazing character animations or puppet animations for free. This is free software as of right now, May 13th, 2022. It's free and it's wild and it's really, really good. Let me show you a few things. First off, as you'll see here, as I'm talking, you'll see in the top right, my face is lit up. That means that it's tracking my face. So as I move my head around and all this stuff, my puppet moves with me and it's just running off my webcam and my built-in audio. Awesome, I know. This is, this is a character named Leonard. There's a whole bunch of things you can learn here, but before I show you all the animation stuff, let me just show you a few things. I clicked on the home button here, and here is a list of just some of the free characters that you can go ahead and animate. And I will admit, it's free software, and there's no watermark on this. It's very important, there's no watermark. So when you export it, it's high res, and you don't get a BS watermark on it. Okay, cool. So we're working with Leonard. Let's go back to Leonard, and you'll see here I'm just starting up a new project, and it's pulling in Leonard, preparing them, and we're going to record face and audio. Now, there's a few different options. I'm going to put my head up here. I'm going to left click on record face, and let's just start and see what this does. Three, two, one, rocket. All right, guys, this is a test one, two, three. We're just running a test one, two, three. Nothing going on here. We're just recording. It's free software. Thanks for watching. All right, something like that, right, guys? Now, if I hit space bar, listen to this. All right, guys, this is a test one, two, three. We're just running it. See, my eyes are moving, my mouth is moving as I scroll through here and I talk. This is amazing. There's a few other things I will show you here. I showed you a bunch of the other puppets. Uh, the other couple things you can do here is you can add in cool little emojis, or they call them triggers in this one. So if you hover over it, you, here's a Leonard when he's excited, here's when he's sad, here's when he's angry, blah, blah, blah. And if you like that emotion or you like that emoji or trigger, just drag and drop it into your timeline. It's super simple and presto. One, two, three, we're just there he goes. He's a happy boy or whatever that thing is. And then, yeah, that's it. And if the uh, motion's too long or the trigger's too long, just shorten it like that. And again, you could add in other ones. Just see what I'm doing here. I'm just adding them in just for funsies. But here you go. Now we've got this one. So that's all there is to it for adding in emotions. Couple other things while I got you here. Uh, you can change your background. This is the default one for Leonard. But if you want a different one, just hover over this one here. Left click on it. And you can see here that instead of being at a park, well, maybe he's in space. Or on maybe this one's in space and this one's in front of a Roman villa, whatever, or you just want to put it in front of a black background or a white background. All of these different options available, one click. Other thing I want to show you is that this can be exported super easy. In order to make this into an animation, you just gotta left click on that, and it gives you an export option, and you just select where you want to save it to. I'm gonna save it to Character Animator on my desktop, and then bang, that's it. Just hit export, and it's done. <laughs> and it exports that in about six seconds, it looked like. So there it goes. It's on, it's on its way. If I load it like this, I'll just load it up, and it'll play with VLC Player in a few seconds here. It's a little slow. Sorry about that. Um, here right, we are. Guys, this is a test. One, two, three. We're just done, right, guys? That's how simple this program is to use. It is wild, and if you want to go further, do keep in mind that there is a pro version, so you can always switch. If you click up here on starter and you want to go to the pro version, this version does cost money, although it's seven days free. But just start out with the starter, make some cool puppets, import them, add some content. It's an amazing tool for animation, especially for those who are starting out, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.